comment on the mass shooting in Texas? Yeah, he, here's, here's what I want to say. Look, it was a tragedy. And uh, all day I've been wishing I could go home and, and hug my son. Um, the, the, I expect the Senate to uh, to have a, a full and robust debate about what, if anything, we can do. What is what the what is that? What is the answer? Hey, Senator Kennedy. Hey, Senator Kennedy. Ask you about the mass shooting. Uh, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> we're still gathering information. Seems like he had no criminal background. I don't know of any system that could have picked this guy up. Um, so, at the end of the day, I'm open-minded about talking to my colleagues. Um, apparently, there's a law in the books that if you buy more than one handgun in a single week, it's reported that ATF and FBI. Mark Kelly mentioned that to me. I, I wouldn't be opposed to including long guns in that if it made some sense. I just, I don't, I don't know what the, the solution is to this particular problem, but maybe there's some things we can do. Senator. Well, you know, I own one, and I've never hurt anybody with it. I, I'm a, you know, retired military guy. You know, the First Amendment, I don't know what books you should read or what movies you go to. I mean, all I can say is that um, the Second Amendment is part of our Constitution, and banning a particular set of guns would be, you know, if Democrats want to impose the assault weapons ban again, bring it up, let's vote. Senator. Uh, I'm talking with Senator Blumenthal about maybe uh, helping states that have red flag laws with a grant program to maybe beef up their ability to stop some of this stuff. So it seems to me that there is defense in depth concept here. Can you keep guns out of the hands of people clearly mentally disturbed? New York has a uh, red flag law. I don't know how that guy in Buffalo got through the system. But, you know, we can always make things better. But it seems to me there's, there would be a lot of Republican support for beefing up security. What kind of action is the Senate going to take? I certainly hope that the Senate will take action. This was a horrific crime. And one area where I think we could make a real difference is to provide strong incentives for states to pass what are known as either red flag or yellow flag laws. The state of Maine has passed such a law and what it results in is if a person with mental illness is a threat to himself or herself and others or others, then the court with the advice of a medical professional and with due process built in can confiscate any firearms that the individual has. Um, we still don't know many details about the killer yesterday, but from the little that we do know, it appears that he was severely mentally ill. He passed a background check and legally purchased his weapon, and that's one reason that I think while we should look at background checks as well, uh, that our emphasis should be on keeping guns away from people who pose a threat to themselves and others. I know. Right. 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 Right.